In this video, we are going to go over an assault mech which is immediately recognizable and is the workhorse of the LCAF's assault formations. The battle mech in question is Defiance Industries Olympian, the Zeus. An assault mech weighing in at 80 tons, the Zeus has become one of the staples of House Steiner's military throughout most of the eras of Battletech. Originally built in 2410 by Defiance Industries on Hesperus II, the prototypes themselves would be utilized in battle against the Draconis Combine as they made an attempt to seize the factory, giving an overall favorable result outside of an error with the unit's PPC. After several modifications, the Zeus would enter full line production by 2411 and would continue to be produced indefinitely following that being viewed as a reliable all-round machine that could be utilized in heavy and assault formations. This would prove invaluable to House Steiner throughout its conflicts, starting with the Succession Wars and expanding into the Clan Invasion, the Fedcom Civil War, the Blakist Era, and into the disastrous Dark Age and Ill Clan Era. The Zeus is perhaps one of the last stoic guardians of the Lyran Commonwealth that will stand against the darkness that now threatens to consume it. The primary production model of the Zeus from 2411 through most of the Star League era into the Succession Wars is the ZEU-6S. This machine comes stock with a 320 pit band standard engine, which results in a top speed of 64.8 km per hour and provides it with 6 movement points in the tabletop game. For an 80 ton mech, this is on the high end of speed and results in the Zeus being flexible in terms of the units it can join and keep up with. The Zeus has an impressive 17 heat sinks total, as a result of having an additional 7 tons of them being installed to help with heat management. This allows the Zeus to run cool for the most part. For weapon systems, the Zeus has an array of offensive options covering all ranges. The most primary direct fire weapons are the Thunderbolt A5M large laser, and its Defiance Autocannon Class 5. This pair results in solid medium range fire. For close range engagements, it possesses two Defiance B3M medium lasers. The one is rear facing barring modification. Finally, the Zeus has a Coventry Starfire 15 tube LRM system, adding to its long range power and giving it some critical seeking abilities. For protection, the Zeus has a mediocre 11.5 tons of standard armor, resulting in it having poor, though not bad, armor overall for its weight. Like most machines designed to operate in these eras, the ZEU-6S is a series of compromises and is as much a strategic weapon as it is a tactical one. It's an all-round mech able to fight most opponents in multiple engagement ranges, though it specializes more in medium to long range fights. It's designed to be built in quantities, even as an assault mech, helping House Steiner with its reputation as being the home of the giants, and is fast enough and reliable enough to be put into the field and keep up with its peers in order to help under most circumstances. And it is not a problem child for technicians either. Though one may take a look at a Marauder and presume it is a superior design for instance, the Zeus has significantly better heat management ability and will be able to fire its primaries essentially every turn, whereas the Marauder will quickly succumb to heat issues by comparison. The ZEU-6 is a solid design for its era and achieves all of its objectives as a design, economically, militarily, and most importantly, politically. Of course, much as with everything, there are a series of field modifications and production variants that would be produced over the years for the Zeus, including some radical modifications in quality and scale. The ZEU-6T is the primary alternative to the ZEU-6S during the Succession Wars, and restored the unit back to its prototype form, which was to equip it with a PPC instead of the Defiance Autocannon. This frees up weight in the design, though to compensate for the additional heat caused by the particle cannon, this is put into additional heat sinks. This would go on to become the standard design of the ZEU after the Third Succession War until it was eventually replaced by the ZEU-5 series, which would appear during the clan invasion. This model is considered to be the best Zeus available during the Succession Wars through to the War of 3039. 
During the clan invasion, the ZEU-5S and the ZEU-5T were introduced, more or less both of them having been upgrades of their original designs. Both would utilize double heat sinks, and both would upgrade their weapons to modern equivalents. The ZEU-5S would come equipped with an Ultra AC-5 ER large laser, and would add Artemis 4 to its LRM-15, as well as having a total of 14 double heat sinks. The ZEU-5T would have an ER PPC, 17 double heat sinks, as well as ferro fibrous armor, and would of course also have the same upgrades to the LRM-15 and ER large laser. There's another series of Zeus battle mechs known as the Zeus X, which we'll be covering further down the line. I am making this reference here in the video, but it really is a derivative of the Zeus rather than a pure upgrade package. The final model, which is an evolution of the primary Zeus, is the ZEU-11S, which is the apex of the original design. Utilizing advanced intersphere technology and even some clan level equipment, this is a monster that walks onto the battlefield, and perhaps is one of the best defenders of the now war-worn and heavily injured Lyran Commonwealth. Coming equipped with a clan level 320 XL engine, this provides the Zeus with significantly more weight to play with, and also does not have the same level of penalties as the lower quality Inner Sphere XL engine. This is the most expensive single component of the design overall. Replacing of the autocannon or PPC, this Zeus would instead possess a Gauss rifle and an Artemis IV enhanced Clan LRM-15 system. A Clan ER large laser is also equipped and two Clan ER medium lasers. It would also come with a Beagle Active Probe and its ammunition is kept safe behind a Case 2. The armor protection is improved in terms of the weight of armor and it is upgraded once again to Feral Fibrous, making this a far sturdier version of the Zeus. Incredibly importantly, it comes with three tons of ammunition for the LRM launcher and Gauss rifle each, providing it with an extended time on the battlefield if needed. This configuration of the Zeus is a powerful juggernaut on the battlefield, reaching out at long ranges and providing devastating fires, while being able to absorb increased punishment and managing its heat quite easily. The Zeus is a mech whose strengths in every era boil down to it being a frontline assault mech that can move with heavies and provide long range firepower and defend itself adequately at medium ranges. They are also powerful as a strategic force, despite not being as powerful on paper as the Atlas. As an assault mech, they are faster, lighter, and less expensive while still being an assault mech. Their heat management abilities as well are first class, able to outperform some mechs that in theory have more firepower even, and are in or around the same weight class, but simply cannot access that fire due to poor heat dispersion. The weakness of the Zeus is its middling close range ability as minimum range on the LRMs reduce their effectiveness in close until the ZEU-11S. They also tend to have barely adequate armor until we start seeing vast improvements due to technology like the ZEU-11S and the ZEU-5T. Being the core of how Steiner's force and being able to work with an array of heavier lances. The ZEU series of mechs are among the most important mechs in the history of the Inner Sphere and Lyran Commonwealth. Their long-standing service is a testament to their power. Whoever pilots the Zeus will feel as though they have the power of Jupiter Augustus at their fingertips. Thank you for joining me here today. If you enjoyed this content, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. With that, I will catch you in the comments section below.